Hello and welcome to More Yoga Fitness. My name is Kathy. Today we're doing a 20 minute chair yoga workout. If you like the video, please click the subscribe button. And we'll start here seated on our chair with our feet spaced hip width apart. Hands draw to heart center. Inhale, reach the arms open, palms up. Exhale, draw your thumbs to your heart. Breathe in, open up, wide V with the arms. Exhale, thumbs to your heart. Inhale, open up. Palms down, arms to a T. Lateral bend, draw your bicep to your ear. Take your eyes to the sky. Inhale, both arms overhead. Exhale, bend laterally to the other side. Breathe in, arms overhead. Gaze up. Palms press and draw them right over the top of your head. Interlace your fingers and just gently place your hands on top of your head. Bend laterally once again. Come back to center. Other side. Breathe in center. Again. And up. Other side. And up. Release your hands to your hips. Crossing right ankle just above the left knee joint. We're gonna slowly make our way forward, lowering the chest toward the thigh. Lowering a little bit deeper, breathing. And with every exhale, dropping the chest a little closer to that pigeon leg. Last time dropping down. Allow the crown of your head to drop down toward the floor. Slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Taking your hand and bringing it to the outside of your right thigh, gazing back in a twist here. Return to center. Cross knee over knee into eagle legs seated on your chair. We're gonna take eagle arms as well, wrapping the right arm under the left, pressing your palms with purpose and lifting the elbows up chin height. Draw your gaze up along with your elbows. Exhale, elbows to the knee. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, elbow to knee. A few more eagle crunches as you seat, stay seated in your chair. Bow forward here and hold as you breathe. Inhale, lift up, unwrap the arms and bring them to your sides. We're gonna uncross and recross, bringing your ankle above the knee joint, slowly dropping the chest down into the lap, breathing as we do this in increments. Breath in, exhale, drop. One more big breath in and the lowest part of your drop. Crown of the head to the floor. Tucking your chin into your chest and rolling up slowly, taking your hand and bringing it to the outside of your opposite thigh in your seated twist.
return to center, crossing knee over knee. Arms come into eagle. Elbows are chin height. Palms are pressed with purpose. Breathe in as you lift your chin and your elbows right along with it. Exhale, bow forward, knees to the elbows in these eagle crunches seated. Inhale as you lift the elbows, exhale as you crunch and round your spine. Bow forward and hold here. Breathe in as you lift up and unwrap the arms. Hands come to your sides. Uncross your legs. And from here, we'll come to a standing. Placing one hand on your hip and extending the inside leg. Pointing the toe to the earth and lifting and lowering that leg into stork pose and tapping down. I'm using my chair for balance. Holding here when your knee is level with your hip, pointing and flexing your toe. And release. We're gonna bring the chair to the other side and do the same thing. Use your chair, hand on the opposite hip, Inside leg to the chair is your mover. Point the toe to the earth. Knee to hip starts level with the earth and will lift up and down. Really good for your hip mobility. Hold here in your stork as you point and flex your foot. Great job, release. Bringing the chair back in front of you, placing your hands gently on top of the chair. We're just doing some wide stance squats, down and up, knees tracking right over the big toe. From here, lifting up one of your legs pointing the toe, and pulsing at the top of your movement. Go ahead and switch sides. Lift to the top of your movement, point your toe and pulse. Switch sides, lift and lower. Gently tapping the toe on the earth. Switch sides, lift and lower. We're gonna switch sides again and just hold your leg up as high as you can. It'll feel a little heavy. Switch sides. And release. With the chair back facing away from you, place your hands on top of the chair and step back. So we're in a modified downward facing dog. Just simply lifting onto the balls of the feet and then pressing the heels down toward your mat. Bending opposite knees, I'm still up on the balls of my feet, pedaling out my dog. 
press back downward facing dog lengthen the arms long lowering the armpits and chest down toward the earth and you can take this down dog in an even more amplified version placing your hands up on the top of the chair so find out where that stretch needs to happen for you today Bringing yourself forward and rising up onto the balls of the feet, pressing back down dog. We're going to flow back and forth here for a few rounds. Inhale as you lift on the balls of the feet. Exhale as you press your tailbone back. Hold here in your downward facing dog. I'm going to place my left hand in the center of the chair and reach my right hand up, gazing up for a down dog twist. Tucking your hand behind the lower back, if that feels good, this is a half bind. Lower your armpit closer to the mat. Inhale, reaching up and switching sides. Using long arms, reaching toward the sky and gazing up beyond your fingertips. Reaching behind the low back for your opposite hip crease and lowering your armpit closer to the mat for your half bind. Breathe in, opening up floor to ceiling and then returning back to that downward facing dog. Walking yourself forward towards your chair, roll up one vertebrae at a time. Coming to the back side of your chair, this time your chair back is closest to you. Coming into a rag doll using your chair. We're going to start actually lifting up your left leg, coming into warrior three here. Squaring your hips and your torso up to the floor. Amplifying this into a Chandrasana, a half moon, utilizing your chair, opening up and squaring your chest behind you, toes and kneecap, square right along with your chest. Again, another amplification by grabbing onto the top of your foot coming into a bind here. This is called candy cane. And of course, if neither Chandrasana or candy cane work for you, you have the option to remain in your warrior three. Slowly walk up to the chair back. And we'll repeat that on side B. So starting with your modified rag doll, stacking your hip directly above your ankle on your standing leg is really important. We're going to lift up the right leg. Start by squaring up to the floor. If you're taking Chandrasana, you're starting to square up to the side torso, your kneecap, and your toes. If you choose to amplify, grab onto the top of your foot and take a bind here in your candy cane. Gently release. Turn your torso toward the earth and come into that rag doll, walking up to the back of the chair. Nice work. From here, we return to seated in our chair. We're going to come into a side pose. 
where we use our chair to support us underneath. Extend one leg out with the inside of the foot pressed to the earth. Laterally bend here, gently placing your elbow to the top of your thigh, bicep to the ear. And we'll flow, reaching across and sweeping across, gazing at your fingers. Inhale, open up, exhale, lateral bend. Inhale, open up, sweep the arm across and reach. And we'll flow a few times back and forth between these two poses. Nice job, release. And we'll set up for those same movements on the other side. So extending one leg out nice and long and adjusting your torso so that you have a firm, secure base on your chair, reaching and laterally bending, holding here for a moment and breathing. Inhale, open up, exhale, sweep across. And I'm either gazing down or you can gaze beyond your fingertips. Inhale, open up, exhale, lateral bend. Breathe in, open up, sweep across, exhale. And flow back and forth between these two poses for a few more rounds. And done. Finding our elbow pit of the opposite arm behind our back. Go ahead and cross your legs. Point and flex your foot. Roll your ankle out one direction and then the other. Take your gaze the opposite direction of your bind. Inhale, come back to center. Release, uncross. And take the same pose on side B. Find your elbow pit behind your back. Cross at the knees. Point and flex your toe. Roll your ankle out one direction and then the other. Take your gaze the opposite direction of your bind. Come back to center, release your arms and legs, breathe in, reach overhead, exhale, forward fold. Breath in, half lift, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, hands to heart center. Breathe in, reach up, exhale, forward fold. Breath in, half lift, forward fold. Mountain pose. Hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up, exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, half lift, arms T, exhale, fold. Breathe in, mountain. Draw your hands to heart center. Press your pads of the fingers firmly. Elbow to elbow is a straight line. Breathe in, 
Exhale, twist off to the left. Gaze at the elbow, reaching toward the back. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist the other direction. Breathe in, center. Exhale, twist. Keep firm pressure on the pads of your fingers. Other side. Inhale, center. And release your hands to your lap, palms up. Breathe here. Thanks for practicing with me today. If you like the video, please subscribe. And thanks for watching. Namaste.